as we know, it is grace in the skies of Northeast Ohio in less than two weeks. And we have a local teacher that's getting his students ready with a unique book that is fun for all ages. And with us today, Eric Heller, science teacher at Worcester High School. And he happens to have his daughter, Avi Heller, a first grader who wrote, who illustrated this entire book as well. So tag team action happening with a father-daughter duo. Thank you both for coming in this morning. You're welcome. How long ago did you guys uh, create the book? Well, we started it in probably December, and then A.V. would draw a couple pages a day, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And so it's a tag team effort in the sense that you, as a science teacher, you know all of the science behind what's about to happen April 8th, correct? Correct. And it's a passion of yours, I'm sure. Yes. And so you're thinking, how can we help others? And, but was she your motivation to kind of really do this then? Yeah, she loves art, and I thought that it would be really cool for her to be able to draw the pictures. Avi, do you have a page in here that when you were creating this book that you love most, your illustration? Is there one in particular? Hmm. It's probably um, hard to pick because there's a lot of good ones. I like drawing Worcester. You like drawing Worcester. You know what one of my favorite one was? It's on this day, people in Ohio will be in the dark in the middle of the day, and it's dark, but then you see the little eyes. Mm -hmm. So the people are watching, there's little eyes throughout the page here that you can see. So how exciting was this for you to collaborate with your dad and, and make this book. It was really exciting. How did you determine what you were going to write for each page? Did dad give you the words that he was going around on the page and he thought, okay, now this is the picture I'm going to draw. How did you come up with the ideas for your drawings? I kind of just got some ideas and then drew them. I mean, they're impressive. When we're showing you guys a look at some of these, we're showing the path of totality there. And A.B., what I learned from this book was where the fact that next time a solar eclipse comes around, we have to go out west, don't we? Yeah. So we can't stay here. Mm -hmm. So that just goes to show you the importance of the fact that this is a once in a lifetime thing for some people getting to experience mm -hmm. this here in Northeast Ohio. Yeah. Right in our backyard. What would you tell other students to get them excited about this? Hmm. Or what are you most excited about? Are you just ex excited to see it go dark? What are you most excited about? to see the moon go in front of the sun. Yes, yes, well you, you'll have your, your glasses on, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, it's incredible when you think about coming up with some of these. Look, Montana, that's where they'll have to go, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere right. like Montana next time around. Yep. Mm -hmm. We are very lucky to have this right in our backyards this year. And so to capitalize on this with the book is wonderful. How, now is it, where do, can people buy it? Amazon. Amazon, now yes. did you, need other help putting this together did you were you the two of you able to just collaborate and then you don't need a publisher do you or we don't need a publisher but we did need my wife who did all of the editing and the formatting so, so without her it was not possible it's truly a family affair yes. I think that also gives people who might be wanting to create something or maybe students like you who would want to create something the mm -hmm. idea that they can too do something like this Everybody yeah yeah I love it now getting back into the science of this all I know again you're, you're are you teaching all the students day in and day out about this coming Talking up? Talking about it all the time. So that's the lesson plan, end of next week, ready to go. Look at, oh, now we're looking at some great pictures of you guys too. As a, as a, where, you're out in the field here now. Where are you guys going to be watching it from? Probably our backyard, right? Prime spot, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. That's, it's really exciting, I know, and to be your age and to create this, you guys, it's, it's an adorable book. Mm -hmm. There are so many pages and it gives you an idea about both of them as well and, and their background a little bit too. Um, but again, the fact that you have created something like this yeah. ahead of the eclipse, you're really getting everybody pumped up. Do, do other kids, what do your classmates think about this? Have you shown it to them? Yeah, I read it to the class. You read it to the whole class? Uh -huh. Was that intimidating? Did, I just did that not that long ago with a group of students, and I had to read for them in front of the whole class, and I got a little nervous. Did, were you nervous at all to do it? Well, my teacher read it. Oh, your teacher read it uh -huh. for you. I'm sure they had questions, though, afterwards about your Yeah. Drawing. So now, do you want to take after Dad and maybe get into the field of science, or would you? what do you think you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a singer when I grow up. Oh, I love the idea of that, too. So you can, you, not only can you draw, but you can also sing. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-talented. Uh, honestly, it's, it's amazing that you were able to get her involved in this too yeah. and, and do something so special. Um, what are you most looking forward to come Solar Eclipse Day? I mean, it's a once in a lifetime experience, so I'm just excited and hoping it's going to be sunny. So hopefully Scott can bring us the good weather that day. I know, right? Fingers crossed. That yeah. is, but you know, I, I was talking with some experts. They were just, even if it is cloudy, we'll still be able to experience something sure. pretty special, right? Yes. 
So and then so you're off work then that day you'll be we watching. Do not have school that day, correct? So that'll make it easy. I, I love this. I know we have to get going, but I want it. You have your sister and wife, and come here real quick. I just the fact that you said it was a family affair, and and that your wife Emily and we have Jovi, your other daughter here. The fact that it was a family affair, I just think that's so special. I know you're not mic'd up, but congratulations. Yeah, this is Fun. something that's really exciting for the whole family. Yeah. And how many of you, you've sold a lot so far. Over 100. Yeah, yeah over 100. What's, what's your goal? Do you have a number you want to hit? 200. Okay. okay. You know what? I have a feeling that after everyone's watching this right now, that you might hit 200 or a lot more even. <laughs> I think people are going to want to buy this book. Yeah. It's impressive. What a wonderful family you have. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. And here's the deal. If you want more about the Amazon book and that you can purchase or just more about our clips, you can always go to our website, box8.com. Um, again, find it on Amazon. But And it's, again, called Ohio's Solar Eclipse. And, you're again, the, the illustrations are amazing. You did a phenomenal job, I must say. Thank you guys all so much for coming in today. All right, we're going to send things over to Scott with another look at that forecast. Hey, Scott.